has a really high standard in regards of the gaming tables that it uses. The local Icelandic players take great care in making sure that everyone is having a great time. Information regarding logistical and transportation issues is really on point. The local players and organisers try their utmost to make sure everybody feels welcome and that everybody is enjoying themselves at the event. On Saturday evening there is a big mega battle. The two leading players from the Allied and Axis sides take charge of the two armies. The big battle took place somewhere in the western part of the North African desert. We also tasted some local, and to many of us, very exotic local cuisine, especially the fermented shark. If you have ever thought about travelling abroad to participate in a tournament, then Polar Bear is definitely a place worth visiting. Okay, this is the first game at Polar Bear 2022 and I'm playing against Ilka. Say hello. And uh, we are playing Scouts out in this uh, industrial area. And we are playing a Bagration uh, kind of themed mission uh, and tournament. And Ilka is placed down here with us 30 Russians. They're quite nice actually. And um, this is the first turn and he has opted to move out some of his T-70s here. Um, I think it's gonna end up in a draw, but we'll see. Okay, it's turn two, and um, Ilka has managed to range in on his first attempt here and hit my um, <laughs> command to where he stand that was here and this stand here, but uh, I made my saves, and then on some lucky dice roll, I hit a five and uh, hit his 122 up there and destroyed it and Ilke has moved up his scouts here probing slightly towards this objective here. So that's it, turn three. We are in turn five actually right now. Um, I forgot to film a few rounds but um, Ilke just got his uh, reserves in and uh, there's been a, a bit of a firefight over here near my objective and I've killed two T70s in the past, in the last round. And now Ilke got all of his strips on the table and he just got these IS-22s in. And uh, I got my infantry in over here that's gonna push for the objective. And yeah, I seriously think it's gonna end in a draw. We have one and a half hour left. We'll see. So it's turn six for the Falsim Jägers and uh, I had uh, some very good shooting and perhaps some lucky dice with my elephant. I had two fives here and managed to hit and kill and bail one of it on 22s and assault some guys up here and hammer them with a machine gun fire. Um, I had a bit of luck uh, in that regard and now I moved up my security section here to defend this objective against the T20 T70s and uh, I'm Pressing this objective, but I still don't think we have enough time to, to be able to win. We'll see. Now it's uh, the time for the company commander to shine. <laughs> this is over. The game ended with me breaking Ilka's coy uh, by destroying uh, his sappers and his IS-2 commander. So the MVP for the game for me is definitely the elephant, and then for sure the T-70s. You know, occupied almost. My entire force for several turns, um, but we talked about that Ilka should have pushed his infantry up through the ruins here, and then uh, he would have been able to force me to react to that, and it might have ended up in him winning or a draw. So that's it. So at the second game at Polar Bear, I'm playing against my good mate Richard from Scotland. Uh, he used to play for us, or played for us once at DTC, that's why he's wearing a Danish shirt. Um, we both picked attack and uh, we needed to uh, roll off to see who was the attacker and the defender. And luckily I won the roll off, so I'm attacking. And uh, first we rolled for dust up, but Richard had already played that one, so 
we just decided on playing another one, so we rolled and got breakthrough. Um, and we are playing on this lovely table that Søren has built. Um, and we're playing a 90 point game right now. Uh, it's like an escalation campaign here at Polar Bear. So uh, I've opted to have my T-34s and my T-28s in reserve to come in from here as a delayed reserve. And Richard has opted to have his 50mm guns in ambush and his IS-2s in reserve. So let's see how it goes. This shirt means so much to me that I was asked to play for Denmark. So I just wanted to say thanks to Christian and the guys for um, inviting me to play in Novi Sad because uh, this is the best shirt that I, ever, that I own. So I'm going to get hammered by Christian. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. This is the second turn of the game against Richard and um, nothing major happened yet. But uh, I moved up some scout cars here and tried to flank his uh, mortars here, but he popped his uh, 50 centimeters, 5 centimeter guns right here uh, in an attempt to engage my little cars on sixes. Richard rolled 10 dice and should have get 1.4 dice of sixes, worth of sixes, but he didn't hit anything. Uh, which was unfortunate and uh, I bombarded some of his infantry here at the edge of the forest and um, managed to destroy one stand and, uh, and a gun and over here in the second platoon I also destroyed one stand and uh, Richard rolled for reserves twice now but haven't received anything um, so slow but steady but I think the game will explode at some point and just uh, be a true killing ground Okay, turn four. Um, I pushed up here in the middle, and me and Richard have had a little uh, forest fight over here. He got off his armored infantry. I saw that my infantry up here killed my Ricky. My uh, infantry ran away, but they're still on the table. And we it into the woods. Uh, Richard has still occupied the forest right here. His Ricky is up here, guarding the objective. Uh, there's platoon here. The mortars, and now I uh, received my T28, and uh, we'll see what happens. At the end of the game, it was really tight, and uh, the MVP were the Svesta T28s. Um, but we had a really good game, and Richard was fair scored all the way through. And uh, he managed to uh, squeeze out a 6 3, and I was on the ropes. And uh, when I started to be silent, it's 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 my telling that uh, See, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm stressed. It's tell, so, yeah. so it's a tell. So if I'm I'm quiet, I uh, I have to focus. All the all the brain power is being used. All the brain power is being used. So we had a great game on this magnificent table in the second game at the polar bear. So uh, happy days, guys. So in the third game here in Iceland, I'm playing against Jukul. Say hello, Jukul. And uh, as we have talked about, this is either Finland or Estonia. And uh, we both opted to defend. So it ended up being a fair fight uh, and the mission is dust up. And uh, I'll show you where we have deployed our units after uh, this here. But uh, basically the table is full of forests and then there's a small village over here. So in turn one, basically nothing happened. I just moved up my um, T-34s up here, and then you could bombard down here and pin some men that are unpinned, and I moved up some um, my tanks over here. And then in my second turn, I had a really good shooting ground with my mortars here, almost destroying his entire platoon of mortars. And up here, I moved up my security section, and they killed one of their former counterparts aka another T-34 and now Yukul is trying to uh, figure out whether he wants to destroy my T-28s here and otherwise my uh, 88 guns here are pinned and uh, that's basically it we are in turn two at the end of my uh, turn three uh, a lot of things had happened had happened I uh, I got a reserve in on a 5 plus which was really nice and lucky and I was managing I managed to move up and uh, assault 
one of his panthers. And uh, I ranged in with my mortars here and killed one or two stands. Up here, I failed one of Yuko's uh, T85s, but um, he used his make your own luck card, which I think was a good move. Because now he's gonna punish me. Uh, I didn't manage to unpin my 88, but um, otherwise, everything is good. Unfortunately, Yuko didn't get any reserves. So we'll see what happens in his turn three. By the end of turn five, I won the game here in Dust Up because we chose to end it. I had an assault with my T28s in the turn before this one and uh, destroyed a lot of things. And you could also destroy a lot of my T28s, but I have one left. And uh, I have been attacking up through here with all of my Falchion Jaegers. And uh, yeah, ended up with me winning. So, first game on the second day is 75 points, and I am playing the mission counter attack against CERN. Say hello, CERN. Hi, everybody. And Morten also. <laughs> Um, we are to um, um, to attack against turn in counter attack, and it's the first turn. I just moved up and assaulted some um, mortars over here. There's one objective there, and then underneath the tray here, there is some um, an objective as well. And CERN has some mortars and uh, his chief and uh, some IS-2s in reserve. Um, he just popped an ambush now with infantry. Most likely gonna hammer me with uh, machine gun fire. Um, I spearheaded up my recce here and um, moved up my infantry here. And then afterwards, in turn one, I moved the recce a little bit, shoved them around. My elephant is located here on the hill in uh, Overwatch position. And then I have my um, tanks up here. So uh, let's see what happens. In Cern's turn one, he uh, shuffled his panthers in this direction towards this objective and he popped an ambush with some infantry and tried to assault um, first of all up here but I uh, won the assault, I shot some and killed one stand and over here he tried to assault me here but uh, with nine dice I got five hits and repelled the assault unfortunately he rolled a lot of ones and twos and uh, now it's my turn Two. In my second turn, I moved up and engaged some of the infantry with an assault here, supported by empty fire from the TU-28. Shuffle up my recon that engaged the infantry over here and killed two stands, or one stand. And then my infantry have just moved up, tried to do a follow me, but didn't make it. And there's an objective over here. Now so in second turn, he has two dice for reserves. Let's see what happens. In my turn three, I um, managed to keep my um, fearless T28 on the table. I shuffled up my T34s in this direction. Uh, up here, I did a assault with one stand against his infantry, and they fled. Over here, I got up on the side of one IS-2 and fired in the middle one, then assaulted, uh, hit him once, but he saved, and then uh, unfortunately he didn't manage to counterattack. And now it's turn 23. Let's see what happens. So I won the counter-attack mission by uh, breaking the formation. So it's a shitty mission, counter-attack, and CERN didn't stand a chance. Uh, with the far objective here and the one in the middle, it's, it favors the attacker so much. So, uh, But we had a good game, good sport, and had a lot of laughs.